So two days ago I uploaded a video on how to catch land the Phantom 4 Pro. I asked you guys in that video if you wanted me to do the same thing except for the Mavic and a lot of you said that you did. So today we're going to be going over some tips and tricks on how to catch land the Mavic Pro. Now some reasons you may want to do this are for high gusts of wind, unfavorable terrain, I mean there are a lot of reasons. I wouldn't suggest doing this like all the time, like regularly catch landing your drone, but sometimes you may have to and hopefully you can take these tips with you next time just in case something happens. Something that's a little bit different about the Mavic Pro compared to really any other DJI drone that I've used is that it begins to move away from obstacles. So if something starts to get close to it, it begins to fly away. Now I'm not sure about the front obstacle avoidance, I haven't tried that, but you'll notice right here in this clip, as I start moving my hand closer to the bottom, it begins to fly upwards. Again, this is super weird. I've never seen it on like the Phantom 4 or the Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, from this clip, you'll notice that I do pretty much the same thing with the Phantom 4 Pro and it stays right there without moving. So basically what this means is that we are gonna need to be a little bit quicker when we catch the Mavic Pro as again if you hold your hand there for too long it's going to start to move away from you. Basically what I'm trying to get at here is if you do hold your hand there for too long and then grab it the drone will start spinning super quickly while it's in your hand trying to get away from that obstacle which is just your hand sitting there trying to grab it but again it can make it a little bit more tough to really get under control as you try to catch the drone. Aside from the sensors underneath of the drone, there's two other things that we need to be careful of. The first thing being the camera and gimbal assembly. Of course, it's very small and very fragile. Any bump could do some minor damage to it, and we just want to make sure we steer clear of that and don't go grabbing it by the camera, which I'm sure no one would do. Uh, also, we want to make sure we steer clear of these propellers. If we get nicked on the finger, it's definitely going to hurt. And this drone, being so small, is going to make it a little bit tough to try and grab, but I have a little spot that I use all the time, and it works flawlessly. Now what makes the Mavic so tough to actually grab is the design of it. Uh, so basically with the Phantom, of course we have all this room down here to grab. I showed you guys that right here is probably the best spot to grab it by. But if we go over here and we take a look at the Mavic, there's no landing gear underneath that we really have to grab it by. So usually where I hold it is right here. I pinch it with two fingers just towards the front. And my reasoning for doing this is because it's out of reach of the back propellers. Now again, these propellers are lower and these ones are a little bit higher. So this right here seems to be the perfect spot to grab it. The one thing that I find or the one problem that I find is that towards the back it's a little bit more heavy. So you want to make sure you have a very firm grip on it so that it doesn't fly backwards or fall backwards like so. All right, so two quick things that I want to mention. First of all, we want to grab it from the side, so you'll see the front of the drone, and I'll be standing on the side to grab it with my dominant hand. Another thing that I want to mention is that you are going to want to make sure that you grab it towards the front, really get away from that back propeller as it is lower to the ground. Also make sure it's at eye level so you can see where those propellers are spinning, and you should be able to grab it very easily. Once you catch it, again, as I mentioned in the Phantom 4 Pro video, make sure that all you do is just push down on the left stick or whatever you have that set to. Just make sure you're pushing it downward so that the drone knows it's close to something and that the motors stop completely. Now let me do one more example and I'll kind of spin around so you guys can see it from a different angle. It's easy. All right, so really quickly to wrap this video up, let's go over a quick summary of everything that I discussed in this video. First of all, there are three things we need to be careful of. One is the camera and gimbal assembly, two are the propellers, and three are those sensors underneath. You wanna make sure that you grab it nice and quickly so that it knows it's landing and it doesn't think something is getting closer to it and it flies upwards. Also, we wanna be aware of the slanted propellers or I guess the different planes the propellers are on. The back propellers are lower and the front propellers are higher. Now, if you guys want to go and grab it out of the air, we want to make sure that we grab it towards the front and get a nice firm grip on there just to make sure we are away from these propellers and underneath of these propellers. Uh, but guys, anyway, that's about all that I can think of as far as catching the Mavic Pro. I do it quite often as sometimes I don't have a lot of clearance. Uh, if I'm not using that extended landing gear I checked out, I think two weeks ago, I usually just end up catching the drone as it is super simple. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to try to get back to you as soon as possible. If I don't get back to you, maybe Maybe someone else will to answer your question. 
But guys, anyway, this video is coming to an end. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily. Again, leave that comment down below, as I would love to hear you. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.